Hey besties, how are we doing today? My face is very shiny today because my sunscreen is doing its thing, so forgive me. I promise I'm not gross. Well, I am gross, but this is just sunscreen, okay? So our girl has uploaded a eat lunch with me and has informed us that we are counting calories again. So of course, your girl had to jump in and view that with my eyeballs, with you, so we can see what's popping. So kings, queens, and everything in between, let's just jump into this together. Okay. So the fit check today, we do have this floral, I believe it was from Torrid shirt or possibly a dress. I do remember seeing this before. Still not my most favorite thing in the entire world, can't lie. Again, no earrings, no glam, hair in a messy bun, serving full depression. Don't love that for her, but okay. Again, not really leaving me with a lot to work with here. She did put on a nose ring, so, you know, serving a little bit of effort today. Just in my humble opinion, based on me not really being a huge fan of this pattern moment. I can really only give this Luke like a 6 out of 10. Better than the last one, but still, we need some work, sis. Hey guys, so welcome to a vlog. But if you want, can we try again? Try again? Oh yeah. So I never vlog because my life is boring. Huh, baby girl? Me. She'd be yawning because she's so bored. No, I'm just kidding. She has all kinds of fun times. Don't mm -hmm. you? But my Tinky life is boring. Star. I have nothing to show. Um, the lighting in my home isn't the greatest. The parts are rather annoying. But you know what? If I look like I have jaundice skin, if I have dark under my eyes, I don't care anymore. Like You should care. <laughs> no one's perfect. Um, okay, yeah. I mean, like, nobody's perfect. But, like, if your skin is telling that your health is bad, you should go to a, a doctor. It has nothing to do with, like, being perfect or not. It has to do with, like, staying alive. I mean, it is what it is. If people want to health shame me, then you can health shame me. I'm just I'm worried about you, bitch. Too scared to do my job. Like, I literally have become so self-conscious that I don't even want to film. And that's just not who I am. That's not who I've been. I've been on YouTube for eight years now. And I've never cared as much as I care now about how I look. Okay, but that's on you. You can't blame your audience for that. That's completely on you. Like, words can really only affect you if you allow them to. And like, at least for me, like, I'm worried about your skin because I'm worried about your health. I really feel like a majority of people, like, they're on that same wave. Like, as I always say, of course there are people who are just, like, needlessly assholes. Like, for no reason. But... You, you can't group all of them together and then use that as an excuse to not do your job and to not go see a doctor about these like very genuinely concerning things, you know? I'm actually about to go have my first meal. I figured I would show you guys. My hair is uh, dirty. But yeah, let's go eat. All right. Oh. Meal time. Before anyone says anything, yes, I'm sitting down. Becky. Really deal. Okay. okay, first things first, I'm gonna get some broccoli. I already did all the calories for said items. So today is actually day one of me doing 1800 calories. I'm actually gonna wash these. If that works, these that'd be great. Washed, but girl, you never know. Fair. So got some of that. Put the rest in a bag. Love yeah, that for my you. My back has been bothering me a lot ever since, you know, like my weight gain and such, so. I do sit a lot when I'm... You should push through it, though. Me. Like, she says, like, like it's not that big of a deal like I'm sitting. But, like, it is a big deal. Like, if your back is causing you pain because of your weight, like, that's an issue. That's, like, your bones and your muscles, like, having trouble supporting your body now. That, that is an issue. In my opinion, you should, you know, push through it and stand as long as you can. Even if you can only stand for, like, two minutes and then you have to sit, at least push through it a little bit. Make an effort. Like, that's still exercise and that will still help. Like, eating low calorie, yeah, like, that's great and all, but if you're not also putting in the work to make lifestyle changes, it's not it's not sustainable. It's about making lifestyle changes and maintaining those lifestyle changes. Clean these real quick. <laughs> all right, they're a little wet, but next, some carrots. Yummy. Why are you cutting it if it Ziploc says? 
At least I think it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there's a, there's a zipper right there. Why'd you have to cut it? You can just go. Whoosh. Also, gonna put these in a baggie. Even though it has a zipper on it, I think. But okay, work. Next, we have these are dipping cups. Ranch. It's already measured out, so I don't even have to think about it. So That's good. Gonna have me one of those. Yum. I'm gonna have some Colby Jack cheese cubes. I'm only gonna have three. Okay. One, two, three. Last thing, I'm going to be having some salami. Eleven slices. Eleven? Love Jesus. Salami so much. <laughs> One, two, eleven. That's actually a lot. That is a lot. But that is Wow, girl. Holy shit. So for all of this, which like I said, already did the calories, it is 497 calories, which is a really good amount. I mean, I don't mean to like nitpick, but like, girl, I don't think you need that much salami. Like, I love the carrots. I love the broccoli. Having three like cheese little baby cubes or whatever, like totally fine. Nothing wrong with having like a little fun with like the ranch and it's like pre-portioned. So like you said, like you don't have to worry about it, not mad about it. But like, I think like I always say is like step back for a second, look at your plate, think in your head. Okay, so I have a handful of carrots, great. Handful of broccoli, awesome. A little pre-portioned ranch, cool. Three cubes of cheese okay no problem with that and then 11 slices of salami sis that's a lot of salami just because it fits in with like your calorie amount doesn't mean that that's like an appropriate serving that was one thing that i really struggled with when i was like trying to get over my own binging disorder was like i would still be having for example 11 slices of salami because it fit in with like the caloric amount that i was having that day but like take a good step back is 11 slices of salami is that healthy to put it in that simple of terms, 11 slices of salami. No, <laughs> that's a lot of salami, sis. Even if you just had like five slices of salami, doesn't that sound a lot better? So now say this, I'm having three cheese cubes, handful of broccoli, handful of carrots, a ranch cup, and five slices of salami. Still a lot of salami, all of it's still filling and nutritious, but you know, it's just a more reasonable serving. And that's why you should be going to therapy to deal with it because they'll give you tools like that. Like that's something that I learned in therapy was like just stepping back from your meal, really looking at your plate, read back in your head what you're actually consuming, and then edit if needed. You know what I mean? That's just something that I would recommend trying. Very helpful for me. Yeah, I grew up with salami, so I love salami. Becky is disgusted by it. I like Doesn't salami. Really like lunch meats in general, so I'm super I feel that. to try this right here. Whoop. That's a lot of ranch. I can't really see myself using all of this right now. Meal Liar. <laughs> Girl, if I get like a little cup of those, I am the kind of bitch who like will scrape the sides with one of those carrots, girl. And you know you the same. There's no shade here. As long as it's in like a pre-portioned amount, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you only have that one serving, sis, enjoy. Super calorie dense with this. Two Maybe you calories. can find a light one. All right. I get so creeped out. Ugh. There's definitely like light ones. I eat a bug or something. What if you'd a bitch you washed it, didn't you? So good. Mm-hmm. I've been watching a lot of TikToks lately. Girl, same. <laughs> Girls, sisters, besties, if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. Um, it's Commonwealth Cocktail, like not to plug, and so is my Instagram. If you want to follow me there too. I have my likes on public because like the things I find on TikTok <laughs> blow my mind. Mm. It's so good. Yeah, ranch is fire. And the TikToks are of people like me who are, you know, binge eaters and they're on recovery to better health and they're food addicts and it's just really inspiring because i finally found like a group of people that i can relate to so much yeah i mean listen if they're recovering and like that's genuinely inspiring to you like i love that like finding like a community can be so healing and just like knowing that there's people who get it can do wonders for you however i do worry that you could stumble upon the wrong person for you and then that enables you like i remember 
her finding like the whole like body positive community which like I love that's great I consider myself a body positive person too but I also am fully aware that there are certain weights such as her weight that is unhealthy and is directly hindering the quality of your life and that and that is concerning you know so if she does genuinely find people with binge eating disorder who are on recovery and it inspires her to like go to therapy you know maybe learn some like tips and tricks to like proper eating and proper portioning love that all here for that i just worry that she stumbles upon the wrong person and it sets her back because that's says that's what happens and they've just inspired me and they've motivated me good to love that push harder and do better good do better bitch you can do it i know you can i love baby carrots there's one girl She's losing massive amounts of weight. Good. But obviously counting calories. Mm -hmm. But she allows herself to eat whatever she wants. Mm, there's the red flag. <laughs> because like when you have, and again, this is coming from somebody who had binge eating disorder, you can't eat whatever you want because your food cues are all fucked up. You don't know how to portion, you don't know how to have self-control, so you cannot eat whatever you want. I have a feeling that that person who is losing weight because they're eating what they want is doing it from like a healthy perspective, like a, you know, a normal, a normal brain. Like, and that's not me trying to sound ableist. That's just, as somebody who had binge eating disorder, I'm aware that it's not normal. My food cues are all fucked up like I get it you know so when she says like I'm eating whatever I want she's probably maybe maybe she will get McDonald's but she'll only eat half of the burger because she'll get full you know what I mean that's just like learning self-control that's something that people like us sister like we can't do and it's not our fault that, you know, eating disorders isn't something that's ever anybody's fault, but you can't look to these people who are normal, we are not normal, and use them as a source of inspiration when their journey is so incredibly different from your journey. And again, I know I say it like 30 times a video, that's what therapy's for, because you could even show your therapist these videos and they can be like, well, that's great, but maybe we can try this. You know what I mean? Like, it's just about finding somebody who helps you on your journey. That's literally what therapy is, and I would love to see you going to therapy. And every single time that I hear people talk about their recovery with the type of eating disorder that I have, mm -hmm. it's always the same advice, especially from like a health worker's perspective as well. Don't restrict yourself when it comes to like food. Like you can't sit here and say, I'm never going to have a piece of cake again because that's what's going to cause. Well, see, here's the thing. When I was going to therapy, I went to actual therapy for actual binge eating disorder. They didn't really say don't restrict yourself. At first, what worked for me was cutting everything out cold turkey. And then when I felt ready, I could try, you know, working in a piece of cake and realizing that I don't need to go crazy. I can just have a piece of cake and move on. Like, I don't need to have three pieces of cake. I can just have one piece of cake and move on. But that wasn't something that I could just start out with. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> like, at least for me, what worked was going on like a really healthy, controlled diet, getting used to that, because I think they said like your taste buds change like every month or something. So like getting my body used to like all of these healthy foods again, and then slowly working in that piece of cake and realizing it like it's like oh you know what i kind of would rather be having carrots right now that that's what was really healing for me was now my body wants healthier foods and now i want to eat smaller portions and things like that so technically she's not wrong but i don't want her to use that as an excuse because it feels like she's interpreting that message incorrectly because you do have to restrict yourself a bit you know but i definitely um need to eat healthier that is a goal of mine for sure girl i want to see you win so bad very important to me i hope so and if you guys are curious here is my day one starting weight um i honestly wasn't going to share my weight but 545.6 okay i wanted to progress in the future I would love to, but it's not promising. So I'm gonna the rest of this, <laughs> clean up a bit, and I will see you guys later. Okay. Update on the ranch cups. So good, and it's really awesome for people like me who are 
counting calories, but they don't want to measure it out themselves. Yeah, I Use get that. this if you're gonna have a salad or if you're gonna have a lot of veggies to mm. dip because I only ate half. Yeah, that's awesome. So I get to take off a hundred calories. So I'm pretty pumped about that. This well, I, uh, in my opinion, I would still leave it at 200 calories because you don't know if that's exactly only a hundred. You know what I mean? That just messes everything up. I think even if you don't finish it, still leave it just normal. Don't touch it because if you start getting into like the over crazy, like, okay, well, if I only have half, I can, it gets overwhelming. So I think just leave it at the 200 and that's lit. <laughs> First meal, I'm watching Season 8, episode 32 of Catfish right now. I love Catfish. I've seen every single episode besides the last two new episodes. Love Catfish. Same. I'm also, Guilty pleasure. in the middle of making a um, weight loss journal. Of course we are. enjoy the little things. Super cute. That's cute. Ever. ever. Um, I'm What's in the notebook, a, sis? I have, my first page is a quote. It says, when you feel like quitting, think about what you started. Yeah, Bless you. love that. And then we're gonna have a weekly weigh-in section, a countdown section, mm -hmm. a reward section, like once I lose this much amount of weight, blah, 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 my plan section. And once it's like all completed, I'll definitely show you guys, but- Yeah, I would love to see it. I really would love to see that. Because I don't want anything to be food related. I don't want food- Good. See, you're supposed to enjoy food, like obviously, but I don't want to think of food as a reward. Yeah, I think of it as absolutely. A nourishment mm -hmm. and not something that like, is awarded to me instead yeah. i want my awards to be like um get my hair done yeah like a tattoo maybe love that me and my mom have been experiences thinking of maybe getting a matching tattoo that's, so that's i love that do that day, yeah you know so that's something that we have talked about love that but i've never gotten a tattoo before and you know just little things that i've really been wanting um like a certain purse i've really been wanting yeah like the fuck yeah now all about that is a michael kors purse as much as like she doesn't need more purses, I'm genuinely happy. Even if she does kind of, this sounds weird, but even if she does kind of switch her addiction over to shopping for a little while, <laughs> which sounds really weird because normally like I shit on her for it. I think that in a way could be good because she realizes she doesn't need food as the addiction. So if she like lets that go for a little while and she uses buying things as much as I hate it as an award, like she's like, okay, if I lose a hundred pounds, I can buy a new purse. If I lose 200 pounds, I can get a tattoo, like things like that. All here for that, you know? I just want to see her healthy. I want to see her win. I want to see her around for a long time. I really genuinely do like all jokes aside, I care about her well being and I want her to live a wonderful life because everybody except for Chris Watts deserves that, you know? Isn't it the cutest thing ever? That is a cute bag. I like Maybe it. I can do like a what's in my purse bag one of these days. What's, what's in, in my, my purse, purse bag? bag? <laughs> what? What's in my purse video. I got you, sis. Hey guys, so it's actually the end of the night right now. And I'm still trying to get used to the whole vlogging thing. So I didn't really vlog much today. I didn't really have much to vlog. But I definitely want to try vlogging more and just like talking to you guys, even if it's like nonsense. Hopefully there are people watching, even if 10 people watch. Don't worry, future vlogs will be more entertaining. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, I guess. Oh, I don't know. I know it was bad. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, crew, so that was Miss Amberlynn's eat lunch with me video. What are your thoughts? Did I say anything that you agree with? Did I say anything that you disagree with? Let me know down below. Love talking to my grandchildren. Love you dearly. I upload twice a week. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. My goal for 2021 is 1,000 subscribers. I would literally be so honored and humbled if you joined the grandchildren army today. The longer you're in the grandchildren army, the stronger you are. It kind of like levels you up. But if you join today, right now, you actually will start out at level five, whereas most people when they join start at level one. But for today only, only today, if you join, you start out at level five. I don't know about you, that sounds like it's worth it to me. All right, I love you more than I could ever express. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending precious minutes of your beautiful life with me. I will see you next week. You're hot. You are wonderful. Hold on, hold on. One more thing. I got tarot cards. Tarot? Tarot? And I want to <laughs> I want to start like learning how to do tarot cards. So I was thinking, I was thinking, okay, hear me out. Since I don't really know how they work, a way for me to learn kind of what the cards are, right? I'll shuffle it and I'll pull a card, a random card, right, 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 right. And whatever that card that I pull is, is like a message for you. I'm thinking about you when I pull this card, okay? So here is your card for the day.
seven of pentacles work frustrations hard work needing to be done either at work or a situation in life so this card what are you struggling with tell me in the comments what is something that's heavy on you that you are struggling with tell me about it and then tell me how you can fix it because something is weighing heavy on you whether it be you know work it could be a financial situation whatever it is it's not your fault but it's your responsibility to work hard to fix it and you are totally capable of fixing it because this card not only is saying that there's work to be done but it's doable work that you must do for yourself. So if you want to tell me what it is down below, tell me. If not, you already know what it is anyway. I know you know what it is because you're smart. You're a bad bitch. Bitch, get your ass in gear. You can do this. I know it seems like a lot right now, but honey, you have the strength and the universe never ever gives you anything that you're not strong enough to face, to conquer. Because like I said, you're a bad bitch. You can fucking do this. Put in the work, sis. You've got this. All right. I love you. I will see you next week. Goodbye. Thank you.